Okay. Uh, so now under our business, um, the censure motion for uh, Representative Byron Cook. Uh, as I mentioned in our minutes, at the end of our meeting, <laughs> the decision was made to send a letter with the censure to Representative Cook. We formed a committee. Uh, we met at Larry Chase's house. Uh, Tracy Lowe was elected to be the chair of that committee. So, Mr. Chairman of the Letter Writing Committee, would you give us a report? I certainly will. Thank you. First of all, I want to thank everybody that helped do all this. Appreciate it. The input was good. Changed a little bit. We everybody got their ideas out. I sent two letters, two different addresses. Certified mail. I got a receipt back on one. The other one finally came back unopened. So anyway, he got one. No response. Uh, <coughs> supposedly he's not running, so he's still in office until the uh, end of this term, which is what November next. So uh, I feel like we need to go ahead with the censure because he can always turn around and run for something else. And uh, I was asked why, you know, we can't get along like the Democrats. <laughs> why all this infighting among the Republicans? And I've got a really good answer for that. You've got a bunch, this state used to be a Democratic state. And you've got a bunch of Democrats down there in Austin that call themselves Republicans to get elected. And that's the only thing. And this guy, his voting record, it, he votes like a Democrat. That's why the censure is me. So, I mean, I, oh, and uh, while I'm at it, if, if, if I could, I know Amy would like, if you don't mind, she'd like to make about a two minute speech because. She was directly affected by, by what Byron Cook did. So, do you have permission to speak? No. Please. Two minutes. She'll be done. It bears on me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that, yeah, I'm very aware of it. Uh, sure, that's fine. Thanks. Okay, thanks, guys. Uh, my name's Amy Headkey. Uh, earlier this last year in March, I was down in Austin at the State Affairs Committee to testify on our pro-abortion or our pro-life bills. And you had a lot of pro-abortion people there too. Um, we went in to the meeting and saw that there were signs up saying that you could not record. No recording was allowed unless you were credentialed press. And understanding that the Texas Open Meetings Act allows us to record any public meeting, including the legislature, as defined in the act itself, we decided to go ahead and record anyway and throw ourselves on the mercy of the court if anything happened. Uh, well, something happened. Uh, I was, after several requests to stop recording and did not do so, I was literally dragged from the room because I would not leave of my own accord. Um, I was subsequently arrested for criminal trespass because I did not choose to cede my rights to attend and record a public meeting of our government. Um, uh, we now have a civil suit. I was thrown in jail. I was stripped and left in an isolation padded cell because of my refusal to cooperate with this entire thing. All because I would not stop recording a public meeting. Um, unfortunately, Byron Cook, is the chair, as the chair of the committee, is the one who set the entire process in motion. He took an oath of office to defend the constitutions and the laws of the state of Texas, and then turned around and adopted rules that basically said, we don't have to follow any laws in the state of Texas. That's a violation of principle. It's a violation of an oath. And it's a violation of what the Republican Party stands for in transparency and accountability. And I'm just one example. And unfortunately, I'm the only one that's been dragged out and arrested. He has, for the last several years, successfully shut down your ability to record your government. And the only reason he's not doing it now is because we put an injunction in place, a court 
basically told him and threatened them with their own use of force if he did not comply and start following the law. And right now, his defense team has literally said in court that this court has no jurisdiction in what the legislature does. That is their entire defense. They're saying that they are not prohibiting recording because he's a good guy. And until we're obviously seeing that this is somebody that responds to accountability. So I'm asking you all to use this important tool and hold him accountable for not just this action, but that whole list of actions that you, you've seen on the censure. Thanks. And uh, before we go ahead and vote on the censure, I make a motion that we change the wording in 